so basically we need to discuss sd wan yes or no okay before sd wan we need to discuss why we use sd wan concept in real time clear why we use sd wan so basically before sd wan uh, we are getting a uh, which one we are getting a traditional routing which one dear traditional routing okay in traditional routing uh, we are using some uh, routing protocols we are using some ipv4 addressing we are using ipv6 address we are using some acl we are using prefix list yes or no and we are using root map concept we are using quality of service we are using vrf concept we are using net feature we are using gre tunnels vpn concept we, we are using one more thing which one uh, we are using mpls clear and then we are using multiple things basically uh, if i am draw a small diagram for example this one thing hold on for example this one is uh, a router 1 and this one is router number 2 are connected into connected with a core switch this one also connected with a core switch a router to getting connectivity this one a router one getting a connectivity this one and this core switch connected with access layer switch this one switch getting a access layer switch an access layer switch connected with a both core layer switches this type and now access layer switch connected with some ap ap means access point this one also an access layer connected with some users this side users access layer this side server and this side server clear and this side we are connecting some a vmware in server clear and this vm we are getting some servers which one server for example this one is application server some crm tools we are using on this we are and then router 1 and router 2 connected with your isp clear so basically this one is your hq hq means this one is headquarter okay in headquarter on routers on routers we are using routing protocols for example bgp we are using some vpn concept we are using some net feature okay so right now in hq we are using some features but 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 for example if you want to connect a one more side this one is headquarter we need to connect some branches so this one is branch number 1 and branch number 1 connected with router router connected with a switch and switch connected with some users this side clear and this side also we are getting some access layer switches and uh, access layer switches connected with some other users clear so basically this branch one whenever trying to access a uh, headquarter a uh, servers for example this one this one so how to use how to access so basically first we need to do a connectivity in between a branch to headquarter but we are getting a headquarter to branch a connectivity via which one internet service provider clear an internet service provider we are using a uh, one more thing over the internet service provider we are making a uh, which one gre tunnel yes or no gre tunnel a generic uh, encapsulation tunnel yes or no we are using gre tunnel in this tunnel uh, we are sending and receiving the data but all data encrypted we are using some ipsec concept for encryption clear and we are using one more concept we are providing some lan side network inside the tunnel that means this branch user can access via this tunnel 
but this channel established via internet service provider this thing is clear okay whenever whenever branch one user want to access servers on headquarters servers and web server application server some crm tools so basically first we need to do allow on router if you deploy any acl both router we need to verify a branch one users and network address must be allowed in acl then we need to do some routing concept first thing we need to do acl then second thing we need to do a net concept then third thing we need to uh, check a network information then fourth thing we need to verify a routing okay then fifth point we need to verify a policy if you configure policy map with quality of service then sixth number this one in lan side on core switches we need to verify a vlan information clear vlan information then seventh if you if you want to transmit your data on core switch to access layer switch this this link in real time must be configured run to carry multiple vlan traffic so basically if you connect a branch one so branch one user coming some vlan member yes or no we uh, we receive on this interface all data traffic and then core switch assign the vlan clear whenever receive this router and forward the core switch then core switch assign the vlan so basically first we need to create a vlan then allowed on my which one link a trunk link then eight number eight number we need to check a port security for example a port security for example on this interface we allowed only 100 mac so we need to extend because branch one multiple user want to access this server then ninth number ninth number we need to jump access layer switch on access layer switch we need to again verify the vlan trunk port security and when when uh, when we done this task then uh, we need to do one more thing on access layer switch which one we need to we need to assign a separate separate information every switches so we are using vtp because how to propagate the vlan information all switches domain on core switch this one this one access layer switch this one access layer switch we are using vtp in vtp we use a dynamic vlan concept then 10th number 10 number we need to create ivr ivr means inter vlan routing on core switches we are configure inter vlan routing 11th number we need to we need to deploy stp in stp we are using some security feature you can say road guard bpd guard loop guard yes or no then 12th number we need to define the syslog information whenever this user access any web server then log will be generated then log a uh, logs store into separate location for this branch so basically if you are doing traditional routing so if you are connect one branch so we need to do this task clear if i am saying you just need to connect multiple branches then it's a time taking process yes or no so basically without sd wan solution we are getting some issues which one which was which one issue a time taking process first thing second thing use high end devices high end devices means we are using core routers to process multiple network routing yes or no we are using core switches then third thing a cost will be high then fourth thing uh, upper, uh we need to we need to do a manual manually configure then fifth fifth number we are getting a uh, which one issue which one issue fifth number uh you can say uh, whenever we are connecting a branch we need to purchase a multiple multiple public connection public connection required and one more thing every device separately manage yes or no and one more thing you can say a uh, one more thing all information store 
into single or you can say each device clear so basically this one this type of issues we are getting but 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 if you are using sd wan solution so basically we are using sdn sdn means it's a software defined network why we use software defined network for example for example if you have router 1 if you have router 2 if you have router 3 if you have router 4 all routers connected with a this type clear and router 1 getting a connectivity with a switch and switch connected with a user and router 4 connected with switch and switch connected with a which one side server side so basically basically if i am running eigrp for example if i am running eigrp so why if r1 want to reach r4 so why are this path we are getting a matrix is 100 clear and why are this one we are getting a matrix is 150 anyone know which one is best path why are r1 r2 r4 r1 r3 r4 which one is best path for eigrp uh, which one round head r1 r2 r2 r4 yes or no okay yes. basically in in traditional routing before uh, before sd wan in traditional routing uh, basically this router suppose this one this router maintain all routing information yes or no this router also store all uh, management information Yes or no? This router also maintain all authentication information. Yes or no? This thing is clear. So basically, for example, if this route goes down, then then router one make a best path via R one to R three, R three to R four. But it will take a time. Yes or no? Again, routing process will do, and then update will be exchange in between R one to R three, R three to R four. so basically in this scenario we are getting a delay clear and one more thing one more thing you can say basically we are getting some planes we are getting some planes we are getting a control plane we are getting a data plane data plane as known a forwarding plane you can say and we are getting uh, you can say management plane we are getting a service plane so each and every device in traditional routing separately maintain all planes separately for example if you have router so router also maintain control data management and service okay what is the meaning of control plane in control plane devices will do updates exchange for routing protocol if you are using switching so switching also switching protocol okay what is the meaning of data plane Announce. device select interface forward data management planes means to manage to manage device via which one mode a gui and cli gui means a graphical user interface cli means command line interface service plane means to collect to collect device information you can say hardware information you can say which one information software information so basically this planes are uh, maintain every device basically one more thing we need to discuss one more thing we need to discuss which one for example if you have router so basically this router maintain first routing table this router maintain which one table dear R T. 
okay the routing table we are getting network information in app table we are getting ip information plus mac address information plus interface information clear and router also maintain two types table one more rib and fib okay what is the meaning of rib or fib rib means a routing information base rib means routing information base fib means routing information base okay what is the difference in between rib or fib okay one more thing rib we need to write down and we need to write down fib so basically we are receiving two types of packet first packet is routing packet this packet carry network information this packet carry a routing protocol information this packet carry some parameters yes or no you can say as number you can say uh, authentication information you can say if you are using ospf area information clear this thing is clear now fib fib always receives a second type of packet which one a routed packet which one routed packet routed packet means we are getting which one information dear source ip we are getting destination ip and we are getting which one information protocol this thing is clear so whenever whenever router receive a routing packet then router router verify the information and store into which one table rupesh ji uh, shahzad which one table rib table clear whenever router receive a routed packet then router need to verify which one table fib table to forward your data because we are sending source ip we are sending destination ip for example if you are getting a confusion in between rib or fib it's a very simple example for example r1 and this one is r2 we are using 0 by 0 0 by 0 and network is 12.0.0.0/24 .0 .0 .0 and this side we are using a user 1 this side we are using user 2 so this user ip is 1.1.1 Clear. Slash thirty two. Uh, you can say this one is low back two dot two dot two slash thirty two. Clear. Mm. Now, so basically, whenever uh, this user want to reach from this one to this one, so it's a successfully reachable. Anyone know? Without any routing, this users can access this one user. PC one, if want to communicate with PC two, communication will be possible or not possible. possible but if we have the information no no we are not using any routing protocol okay not possible no possible not possible no possibility. possibility because uh, both are indirectly connected because both are separate lan network clear yeah so we are using some routing protocol for example we are using eigrp mm -hmm. eigrp as number 100 so r1 send first hello message R to send hello message. Hello message a keep alive. Yes or no? So this keep alive only verify the connectivity. A uh, both are physically connected, na? If if connected, then send back reply. Okay. After hello message, R one say brother, I am sending the update message. What is the meaning of update? In update, R one say brother, I am sending the indirectly connected network information for you. So R one, which one is indirectly connected network? From R one to R two. One dot one dot one. Yes or no? So R one say I am sending one dot one dot one slash thirty two network information. Whenever R two receive the packet, then R two verify the first a routing table. Any information available? No. So router router install inside the which one table? RIB table. Clear? And then after RIB RIB install all information, then our router will maintain one more copy as a which one table? FIB table. In RIB we are getting a network information. In FIB 
we are getting network plus interface information which one is exit interface same thing so this packet is which one routing packet or routed packet anyone know update means it's a routing packet or routed packet routed uh, routed means a source ip destination but uh, yes. we are sending any network in routed packet no no so that means this one is routing packet so first okay. router will receive and install into rib clear now one more thing so basically if each and every device will do this task if you have multiple router if you are receiving continuously multiple networks so after some times we are getting a some issues with this router cpu utilization this link bandwidth issue yes or no so basically basically nowadays nowadays we are using sdn solution sdn solution i think we already discussed it's called software define network which one software define network sdn provide three types of solution but we discuss only which one solution which one solution we are using sd wan clear in this session we discuss sd wan solution sd wan means software define wide area network network clear sdn provide a some data center solution also clear sdn also provide a lan solution clear this thing is clear mm -hmm. okay right now we discuss only wide area wide area means we use on core uh, core routers only core routers if you want to if you want to manage a lan devices you need to uh, different a uh, solution clear use but right now we are using sd wan solution so in sd wan solution we are using some controllers we are using some controllers this controllers uh, will be in use in real time also some controller used for a routing process which one process a routing process some controller only used for management which one management process some controllers only used for which one task authentication clear so basically how many types controller we are using so okay. we are getting controllers but this controller and sdn uh, sdn provide sdn solution two types of vendor this controller available a uh, multiple types of vendor we learn only which one which one solution and which one controller viptila clear this one is organization ex employee of cisco clear this uh, this solution will provide and this uh, solution uh, devices a uh, vendor is viptila so which one controller we discuss viptila controller first controller name is v manage v means it's a viptila and manage it's a management only management task will do second second controller name is v smart v smart also available we are getting one more controller v h clear we are also getting v analytics clear so this type of controller we are getting okay right now right now why we use a v manage this controller used for a management purpose if you want to manage uh, your cisco device uh, via gui via cli but if you are using a v smart so v smart use for only which one task routing task if you want to distribute your policy clear if you want to make any any uh, manipulation in path in data plane in control plane uh, vh vh only forward the data traffic and v analytics collects all information collect all information in duration uh, routing process in duration data policy say in duration data traffic forwarding so basically this controller available only two forms we are getting this controller two forms first is physical and second is 
logical okay. clear okay now one more thing this controller you can deploy you can deploy on vmware xis you can deploy on aws you can deploy on azure as well clear you can deploy a cisco cisco cloud solution if you have clear and if you want to physically you can deploy no issue but one more thing you need, you just need to discuss if you are using uh, sd wan solution so must be know these things vrf concept you know bgp concept you must know third ospf concept fourth acl knowledge fifth uh services you also know six number you just need to know the uh you can say a basic configuration how to do a basic configuration ip addressing clear seventh point you just need to know about uh, which one thing about a manipulation clear so basically if you want to learn sd wan so must have ccna or ccnp knowledge clear of which one knowledge routing and switching a basic information about security basic clear now one more thing one more thing last time we draw a site yes or no we are getting a hq headquarter yes or no right now in headquarter we are using some controllers but but before using any controller must be clear uh, which type of uh, controllers and which one version we are using clear so basically control plane control plane a uh, managed by which one controller v smart clear second data plane data plane managed by which one vh clear third thing management plane if you want to uh, configure your cisco box so we are using which one we manage okay fourth is it's a orchestra plane this one use for authentication we are using which one person we bond this one is very important controller clear so basically we are getting three controllers a uh, we smart we manage we bond this one is vh only data device clear this one is not a controller this one is data device clear only forward the data traffic so basically uh, we need to discuss one more thing so if you are using we manage so we manage can a uh, configure Uh, you can say routing protocol you can configure centralized devices you can manage centralized uh controllers if you have controller which one we smart if you have a we bond one more thing you can do a t shoot you can do a deploy uh policy one more thing you can do a monitor a traffic clear and you can uh, deploy a quality of service as well clear and if you want to deploy any uh acl uh, you can say if you want to deploy any acl prefix list if you want to deploy a root map you can deploy with the help of v manage okay one more thing if you are using v smart so v smart is also very simple this side we need to write down v smart v smart controller basically manage a routing process a routing process means exchange updates 
distribute network information clear maintain omp neighborship omp is a protocol in uh, sd wan solution we are using omp called over relay management protocol clear okay one more thing distribute policy for all vanish devices vanish devices means vh clear one more thing uh, you can say uh, one more thing form a uh, dtls tunnels to provide secure connection clear and one more thing you can write down for uh, one more controller this controller name is v bond so basically v bond v bond only uh, check a uh, vanage and you can say controllers valid or not valid clear it's a organized device organization device or other vendor device clear if you connect someone uh, unauthorized device so this one person verify we bond one more thing uh, make a transport tunnel to verification always available publicly with ip address or sometimes fqdn anyone know what is the meaning of fqdn anyone know fqdn only called qualified, qualified domain only name qualified some. domain name very good one more thing for verification we use servers clear which one server we are using zttp and we are using pnp zttp called a zero touch provisioning clear this one is webtela webtela server pnp means plug and play this one is cisco vendor provide clear if you have a smart account so we use we discuss but this one is vivo one more thing <coughs> uh we are getting a vh uh it's call which one device vanish device clear forward data receive and forward you can say routes or you can say network information via which one controller v smart clear physically and virtual form available which one physically and virtual form available okay right now right now last time each device maintain all four planes separately yes or no for example right now if you have a router one if you have router 2 if you have router 3 if you have router 4 clear all routers connected with this type if you are trying to run eigrp so all router maintain routing table yes or no all router maintain rib fib all router maintain management task also separately yes or no data plane task also separately so basically if i am using for example which one controller we manage clear and connect all routers with this one which one which one controller we manage this we manage this we manage can configure the protocol can configure the policy can manage the uh, configuration can do monitoring can do troubleshooting but 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 if i am using which one controller 
vsmart vsmart and connect all devices with vsmart now now basically router 1 exchange all routing information with vsmart r2 also exchange with vsmart r3 vsmart r4 vsmart now 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 one more thing one more thing basically vsmart provide the vsmart provide the root and you can say network information each and every device clear but right now right now this device is never do any management task this device never do any control plane task yes or no one more thing if someone trying to attach one more new router in this topology then then this device must be verified by which one controller v bond this one is authenticate device or unauthenticate device clear this thing and now now basically this controller this controller never directly access a this cisco router normal cisco router we must need to connect this router with which one devices which one devices vh devices this router must be connected with vh devices clear this thing is clear and this vh connected with v manage v smart and which one v bond this thing is clear and we are getting after all connectivity we are getting is new centralized management yes or no centralized management clear all controllers all vanish devices so basically give me one second okay this one after after all controller deployment we are getting a this type of topology so verify verify in this topology this one is my controllers yes or no and this one is my which one devices vh devices this controller connected with sometimes mpls sometimes we are getting a 4g connection sometimes we are getting public internet to connect with which one devices which one devices vanish devices clear so this vanish devices available on cloud available inside data center available in campus network available in branches available in oh. so small office yes or no okay now yes. now now one more thing so basically if you are using a v manage so v manage will do which one task which one task the single pane a uh, single pane of glass that means this one can do a management task which one a v bond controller you can manage you can manage v v analytics v smart and vanish device yes or no that is the reason this v manage available in which one form a gui also available in cli also support uh, automation part if you want to deploy all devices with the help of some scripts a python script if you want to do upgradation any software any ios clear so you can do if you want to deploy any policy if you want to create so you can create the policy if you want to do troubleshoot monitoring software upgrade you can do clear one more thing if you are using next controller which one v smart why we use v smart for routing information yes or no basically this controller exchange all routing information with vh clear na so basically you can deploy app aware routing policy on vh device you can deploy a control plane policy okay both are different both are different if you want to make a best path via mpls if you want to control the data traffic if vanage send any http http traffic then use 4g connection if when is send https traffic then use inet so this type policy called application aware routing policy if you want to deploy uh, uh, if you want to uh, manipulate the uh, 
a routing information. So control plane task, you can do uh, this one, clear, a policy. One more thing you can say, uh, basically we smart exchange the information routing in between VHS. VHS means a managed devices. One more controller available, uh, which one? We are getting a V bond. We are getting V bond. Hold on, I will show you. V analytics, this one is REST API, VH, V smart, V manage, this one. So basically this one is a uh, V bond. Basically whenever, uh, if you're trying to connect any uh, any cloud site, any data center, if you wanted a connect campus network, if you want to connect your branches, if you want to connect a small office. So first connectivity, we are getting with a V bond. Why we use V bond? So basically this one authentication device. Yes or no? We are using some a verification. I just need to verify this when is device a serial number. I just need to verify this device, a license detail. Yes or no? I just want to verify the site ID, clear? Domain name, clear? And certificate, I just need, I just need to verify. So we can do this task with the help of VBond. But, 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 we are using two server also, ZTP or PNP. This two server also do same thing, clear? If you want to deploy a controller, you can deploy. If you have server, so you can use, no worry. Now, next thing. This VBond also support which one translation? Net, you can uh, you can deploy on VBond net translation also. If you want to secure your VBond, clear? If you directly uh, do a public of VBond, so we are getting some attacks now. So that is the reason we are using net. Net means network address translation. And this VBond also provide after verification, which one information, this V bond provide V smart information, this V bond provide V manage information. Clear? Now, one more thing you can say, V edge. So basically V edge, uh, uh, basically we are getting a physical or uh, you can say a virtual form also. So some, phys uh, some physical or virtual devices, we are getting 100 MB interface, 1 GB interface, we are getting a 10 GB interface, we are getting a 20 GB interface. But this interfaces depend on your series number. Anyone know series number means? What is the meaning of series number? VS series number? Which one? Series number are just like a model number, you can say. Yes or no? Model number depends on your VH model number. Now one more thing, one more thing. Basically, why we use VS devices? Only data traffic will do a send and receive. You can deploy any routing protocol, RIP, EIGRP, OSPF, BGP. You can deploy MPLS. You can deploy VRF concept also. Clear? Now one more thing. Basically, this VHS devices always exchange network information with vSmart. Clear? Now, but we are using which one protocol? OMP. OMP means over relay management protocol. This protocol help to make first neighborship, first neighborship. So basically first V edge and V smart form OMP neighborship. And after OMP neighborship, then V edge verify the T lock information. T lock means it's a transport locator. How many option available to forward your information? Sometimes we are getting MPLS. Sometimes we are getting a 4G, sometimes public internet clear. So we are using T log also. Okay, support a zero touch deployment. Zero touch deployment means you just need to provide only a reachability from V bond. Which one? Uh, Rupesh, Sezad, and Marlin, can you hear me? V bond. Yeah. 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 V -H -2 uh, zero touch, zero touch deployments. Uh, you just need to make a reachability with V S2, V bond. And after reachability, no need to configure manually V S device. No need to touch. Just go to vManage and create your a templates. Clear? Templates mean you can say a notepad file. Clear? In notepad file, you need to mention the interface number. You need to mention the IP address. You need to mention the routing protocol. You need to mention the device information, time zone, date and time, clock, yes or no, board rate, these things. Okay, now, now one more thing we need to do. Uh, this one is REST API. REST API means if you want to do an automation part. So we manage also support. 
we manage can ma uh, map with a third party automation tool if you have postman postman we are using for a post a uh, push the some uh, information via python scripts clear and we are using some api clear now one more thing v analytics uh, we already discussed na collect all information clear all information means if you are running a sla sla means a service level agreement uh, we just need to verify that uh, service is available connection is available yes or no communication is available or not available route is not available or available yes or no so this type of information we can get but all information collect and store into v analytics separate controller clear this controller now one more thing we need to discuss a very important point one one question yes when we connect the vh okay okay first we connect to the uh, vbond we bond yes right. vbond must be authenticate your device na it's a valid right. device or invalid device right and how this uh, v manage and the uh, v analytics get the information of the vh means like who is Uh, forwarding that information like we want it sending that information to analytics or is there any configuration for specific to a specific configuration a specific configuration in real time if you want to collect the logs from your router from your switch so how to get how to get a log information we are how configuring get... server logging server right yes we are providing the ip address na so yeah. same thing we same need to map the v analytics with v manage clear and v yeah, manage yeah. will provide all information Okay. so basically basically uh, which type of uh, v smart v bond v edges devices we are using so i have some data sheet small data sheet uh, so basically this one is controller deployment so basically you have option to deploy your controllers on physical server clear if you have vmware xs clear if you have cloud hosted uh, you can say aws azure cisco cisco uh, cisco uh, you can say cisco cloud solution also available you can deploy so basically uh, connectivity with controller uh, we, we are getting any down possibilities no if you deploy on cloud so possibility is zero yes or no but we make a cluster cluster means we are using two we manage yes or no we are using how many we manage two we manage if one we manage goes down so another one is available to as a backup we are using two we smart if we are getting a multiple routes 1000 mm -hmm. lakh of routes so we are using two v smart clear and if you want to use a v bond uh, cluster in real time we are not using v bond cluster we are using only a smart account which one dear a smart account directly map your cisco account clear no need to verify a uh, manually automatically check all license file serial number clear now one more thing one more thing so basically uh this type of uh, cisco uh, cisco vanish devices this one this one is cisco vanish devices if you, if you want to deploy isr asr so this type of um, uh, model numbers uh, devices can support a software defined solution clear a wide area network solution so this one 4351 4331 but this model number also getting a in ethernet or interface speed clear so some interface we are getting a 400 mb 75 mbps 100 mb 1 gb 2 gb 10 gb depends on your requirement clear if you don't have any a uh, uh, cisco device uh, if you already have a cisco device uh, and if you want to uh, use as a software defined solution uh, part so we just need to upgrade the ios we are using ios xc which one ios ios xc ios clear so this type of ios support a software defined wide area network solution clear but if you are using isr or asr so asr some series support the software defined solution 1001x 1002x clear uh, we are getting two ports we are getting a six port of ge we are getting sfp sfp means a fiber ports clear and we are getting a asr 1006 1009 this type of device also support and a uh, we are getting a vanish device a viptela solution viptela solution vh device is this one this one is vh 100 so if you are using a physical box vh 100 for example which condition we are using vh 100 so basically if you have 100 user site if you have a 200 user site 
if you have 500 user site clear so you can use a uh, which one vh 100 this 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 vanish device are getting 100 mbps speed per interface clear you can deploy a security you can deploy quality of service clear this this web tailor device also have fan uh, just cooling the cpu yes or no we are getting a width a length if you want to uh, uh, mount inside the rack you can mount clear and gps option means you can verify the location live location you can provide the long uh, longitude information latitude information a correct exact location you can give a vh100m vh100m uh, also similar you have 100 200 500 but if you want to use ap anyone know ap means access point AP. access point if you want to provide a wireless wireless so this one vanish device also support wireless communication clear and we are getting a poe poe means if you want to provide a power from this web tailor device access power point. ethernet power over ethernet very good and 3.0 means it's a thunderbolt port yes or no you can make a fast transfer <laughs> and one more thing you are getting a lock lock means if you want to uh, uh just uh separate uh if you uh deploy on a uh, rack so we are getting some keys now so if you want to lock your device so you can do gps location also available but okay. if you are using 100 mw also support wireless also support uh poe option but 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 we are getting one more thing which one we are getting internal acps so internal acps both are de same devices but we are getting a 4g lt 2g we are getting a hundred uh, 1000 base t so this one is cable type this one is cable type okay now one more thing uh one uh one more type of uh, venice devices we are using web tailor uh give me one second okay so you can configure this one data shift. this one this one is high end if you have 1000 2000 users in your site so use vh 1000 vh 1000 getting a 1 gbps speed and how many ports available eight eight gig ports clear and plus sfp and one more thing we can support 3g 4g usb port also available security dual power supply anyone know dual power supply means in this web tailor physical box we are getting a power one we are getting a power two so if power one goes down so we are getting a power two option to back up yes or no we are not getting any single point of failure power clear so we are getting a two power option one more thing we are getting a vh2000 if you have more than 2000 so we can use this one if you want to a fast fast communication so we are using a vh2000 vh2000 support every interface how many 10 gbps clear and are you are you means it's a rack size clear a rack a model and how many ports sfp and g two two pluggable interface model this one and two 10 ge ports okay and this one is transaction per minute chip okay 3g 4g connection support security support dual power supply and redded and fence redded and fence means we are getting extra cooling, extra cooling feature, clear? And VH5000, we are getting a 20 GBPS speed, clear? So basically this type of devices we are getting. Okay, so in this case, we are getting a two gig ports, only 10 GB. We are getting how many ports? Four, clear? How many ports? Uh, four ports. Now, one more thing, one more thing. So basically, uh, if you want to deploy, if you want to deploy uh, a controllers, so you can deploy on a VMware exercise clear. If you're deploying a V manage, so basically V manage, V manage system requirement. If you have uh, how many sites? One, two, 250 sites clear. Must be, must be mentioned in VMware, how many virtual CPU? 16. And how many RAM required? 32 GB RAM required. And how many hard disk? store to information 16 gb is separate part of os and 500 gb must be required clear and how many bandwidth that means an ic card speed minimum 25 mbps minimum clear and how many virtual nic card we are getting three clear one is management one is lan and one is van clear if you are getting a more than 250 site so we are using virtual cpu is 32 
RAM is 64. Clear? And we are using hard drive to store all information in vManage. How many? One terabyte. Clear? And minimum bandwidth must be required. How many? 100 Mbps. Clear? If you have more than 1,000 sites, so this one configuration available. Clear? And this, this hard drive always required which one? SSD. SSD okay. means solid state drive. Clear? Now one more thing. If you want to deploy, so this one is option. Clear? So this one is, uh, uh, we are providing which one? CPU, memory. Yes or no? We are providing a hardware, hard disk information. Clear? How many network adapter you want to use? We need to define. Okay. Then we are getting a vSmart also. So vSmart. Uh, one second. This one is vBond, vSmart. Yeah, this one. This one is vSmart. So basically vSmart. How many vSmart required to 50 site? How many? How many vSmart required? Only one vSmart can support. How many sites? One to 50 site. Clear? But a CPU requirement is two virtual CPU, RAM 4 GB, and OS is 16 GB. Maximum you can deploy, but minimum is for one one vSmart minimum hard disk space is 100 GB. How many? 100 GB. Okay. Right now, if you are getting a more than 50 sites, so you can use a how many vSmart? Two vSmart. Clear? And we are using how many virtual CPU? Four virtual CPU. If you are getting a more than 250, so use three V smart clear and this one. If you are getting a more than 1000, we can use how many V smart? Four V smart clear. Okay, now V bond also similar. This one. So basically, V bond. How many V bond can authenticate 50 site users? How many V bond? Only one V bond clear. If you are getting a more than 50 site, so we are using uh, how many V bond? Two V bond. But in re real time, we are using a PNP option. Which one? PNP, plug and play option. Clear? PNP server, ZTP server we are using. That is the reason we are not using any cluster we want. Clear? Okay. Now one more thing we need to discuss. No, uh, one question. Means like you said, uh, if there are the one to 50 sites, then one we want is- Enough. No, yes. To yeah. yes. But in real time, in and real time, we are using controller, but whenever we deploy a V bond, we provide a virtual CPU is four. How many RAM? 32 GB RAM. Clear? Because we are using yeah. cloud now. Cloud. We can use uh -huh. multiple resources. Why we why we provide a 4 GB RAM? Clear? So basically in production network, we provide a maximum RAM. Na? Yes or no? In future, we are yeah. uh, we are getting a multiple sites. So that is the reason. We are using single V bond. Clear? But in real time, we are using multiple vSmart because we are receiving okay. a multiple routes, a thousand lakh of routes from my side. Yes or no? That is the reason we are using multiple vSmart, multiple vBond, okay, uh, multiple but, vManage. We are using only single vBond. Okay, but what? But if that single vBond is uh, down, yeah, it will be there in the production. Right? That condition, we are getting issue. That is the reason we are making a redundancy. But how it possible on cloud to goes down? This thing also happened. Yeah, that is correct. So but that is the reason controller deploy on cloud. Clear. But some task, some condition, if someone say a uh, Mumbai zone, AWS Mumbai zone goes down. Yes yeah. or no? Chennai location, Chennai location goes down. Sometimes we are getting a cyclone na, on Chennai side. Yeah, right. Yeah. Cyclone issue. So we are using multiple, multiple, uh, multiple sites uh, we manage. Clear? We are using two zone. Clear? Okay, now uh, basically, if you want to uh, deploy SD WAN, uh, SD -WAN uh, uh, devices, so we are using EVNG. Clear? So EVNG also supports same uh, same option as it is. You can say cloud, but we just need to do a practice. So I have some server. Clear? This one is online server. Uh, this server uh, having a 240 GB RAM. Okay, and uh, you can say. Uh, and a 182 core processor clear so this one server is available clear you can easily deploy sd -WAN solution so some already batches is running so first we discuss this one sd -WAN solution this one is design one in this design one we discuss how to deploy how to configure clear this one is design one solution clear 
first we learn this one design then we need to jump which one design second design this one design 2 clear so in this design we can learn how to get a multiple multiple public connection we are using some t log we are using vrrp concept we can deploy some policy clear because right now this vh is getting a which one connectivity only mpls yes or no you can verify this vh is getting only single connectivity uh, connectivity with mpls yes or no this one single connectivity with public internet but th this one vh is getting how many connectivity mpls and public internet if mpls goes down so we are getting one more backup path na yes or no but this one mpls yes. goes down we are getting one more backup path no so we are uh, we are using t log extension option how to extend your internet clear how to extend internet any other doubt okay so right now right now in next session we discuss a deployment clear we start again and we discuss deployment so this one is a pdf file sd wan clear so i will provide on uh, whatsapp clear you can receive on google drive as well so how many topics we cover how many topics we cover so i think uh, its total is 29 or you can say 30 labs uh, its total lab is 29 how many labs we are getting 29 labs clear from lab 1 to 29 labs we discuss in sd wan clear every topic we discuss clear and we also use as it is real time if you want to do a lab so you just need to access this server with the help of username and password clear a uh, software some software requirement to use this server putty application winscp and uh, you just need to install one more tool which one uh, you can say uh, ultra viewer which one ultra viewer clear this three software requirement to access this server clear rupesh shahzad uh marlin clear yes okay yeah, clear sir if you want to use yes. this server so install putty in your laptop winscp and ultra viewer clear this three software yeah. is mandatory clear Putty for configuration, WinSCP for file transfer, Ultra Viewer to get access, Windows Server, Windows Machine in GUI mode. Clear? Okay. Putty will provide only CLI, na? So how to get GUI mode, na? So that is the reason we are using Ultra Viewer. Which one? Ultra Viewer. <laughs> clear? So this three software only. Yeah. Clear? Okay. And uh, total how many hours training? You can say, I think it will take thirty-five uh, to. Ah, uh, forty hours training only. Clear. Thirty-five to okay. Forty hours training. Clear. So we discuss each and every topic: how to deploy, how to configure, how to deploy policy, how to create a VPN. Clear. How to make a tunnel. How to ah uh, how to exchange the route. How to configure the deep packet inspection. Clear. how to do manipulation how to do load balancing we discuss each and every topic clear yeah, we get the most uh, uh, topic details that uh, means lab details and topic details okay topic detail okay give me one second i will show you hold on one second sd van Yeah, this one. This one is topic. Clear? This one is topic. We need to discuss which one topic. Ah, uh, first we need to discuss traditional routing, SD WAN overview, benefits, key concept, main components. Yes or no? And describe the SD WAN architecture and component, orchestra plane, why we use. Clear management plane, control plane. We already discussed data plane. What is the meaning of T log? Why we use IPsec? V route, BFD, bidirectional forwarding decision. Clear. Ah, uh, why we use manage? How to describe? Why we use clear and capabilities? We discuss V edge means Web Tela and C edge means Cisco device manage. Clear. This one is Web Tela manage. 
and this one is cisco vanage we are using csr asr or isr yes or no now one more thing yes. we need to discuss sd wan controller deployment how to deploy controller clear and then we need to discuss a router deployment that means managed devices we need to discuss zero touch provisioning concept we need to discuss plug and play concept yes or no okay then we need to discuss configure and verify the sd wan data plane uh t log extension i think uh, last time we discussed yes or no and over relay management protocol under relay connectivity under relay connectivity means we are using ospf we are using eigrp we are using bgp yes or no and what is the meaning of omp how to configure and t log verification and configuration how to configure via cli and gui yes hello hello any doubt okay then we need to discuss the template concept anyone know what is the meaning of vrrp why we use anyone know which are which virtual <coughs> router redundancy <coughs> protocol protocol yes or yes, so no we are using lens site for gateway redundancy clear okay ospf yes. is a under relay protocol which one dear under relay protocol so this one is connectivity bgp also bgp also under relay protocol no it's over relay which one dear over relay so it's over relay, over relay. Oh, clear okay now one more thing so this one is no but uh, service provider with service provider which protocol you are using when we are uh, connecting the the like mpls link uh, uh, mpls and bgp yeah and we need to discuss policy policy we need to discuss how to configure and verify the control and data policy end to end segmentation for vpn clear and application aware routing policy we need to discuss direct internet access okay direct internet access we need to discuss and one more thing uh this one is topic security and quality of service clear this one part we need to discuss only theory part clear and then management and operation and how to use api concept how to do upgradation of a v manage uh from we manage a uh, vanage device controller as well and i think this one is last topic this one is lab clear so how many total labs in this topic we are getting this one is 41 lab clear but total lab is only 29 some labs is similar clear okay okay any other doubt any other query and the recordings recording online you can uh, you can get access arupesh i think uh, arupesh ji uh, you already remember na in f5 batch yeah 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 okay you can receive on google drive yeah, all the material yeah. all tools and lab access i will provide the username and password and this one server ip address you can easily access any time clear okay yeah but it a uh, limited hours limited hours yeah right okay. whenever whenever uh, you just need to log in you just need to inform me okay yes at the same time a multiple user can access but um, must be informed clear so i will provide some workbook clear i will provide some ppt for notes clear yeah clear this one is a complete a complete pdf file 500 pages clear some topics uh, sd wan normal sd wan topics some cci level sd wan you can get from this one topic clear and yes. this one is evng lab if you have server so you can easily deploy i will provide the images clear yes. and this one is a data sheet small data sheet for a controllers and vanish devices you can easily get clear yes. okay so i think total uh, recordings you can receive 14 to 15 only 15 videos so basically it will take a 35 hours training only clear okay yeah so from next week so, saturday 10 o'clock we meet the lab videos akshay the lab videos are also uh, there on the server ha huh? the lab videos labs yeah yeah the lab videos i am audible yes 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 yeah i am telling that the lab videos which you will uh, So tell us the labs you have uh, some twenty nine something labs, okay? That uh, labs 
PPDs and videos be available on the server also? Like uh, uh, how this, this, video this one is stars. Right? This one is stars. This one is stars. Twenty nine tasks we need to perform on board design. SDN design one. SDN design two. Okay. Clear. We need to deploy. Okay. 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 So again, we meet. Then we discuss. Then we start. Clear. Today we discuss a uh, small theory. Clear. Only theory. Why we use? And uh, if if I am not using any uh, software defined solutions, so what will be happen? Clear. And if I am using controller, so what will be the process? Clear. And how many types controller? Which which controller will do? Which one thing? Yes or no? So yeah. we need to discuss small theory. Then from yeah. next Saturday and Sunday we need to start the lab session. Clear? Yeah. Any other doubt? Four G connections are uh, will be covered. Four G connection. We are not discuss any uh, ISP side concept. How to connect? Clear? We use basic config. Basic okay. config. Okay. Okay. So we meet again, Marlin. Uh, Rupesh, Rahul, Shizad, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So we meet again uh, from next week. Okay. Then we start the session. Clear? Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay sir. Just share me the mail uh, email ID on WhatsApp group. Clear? And I will provide yeah. the study material. Clear? Okay. okay, okay sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. bye. Thank you.